Good evening everyone, Show Stuff here with a quick redstone design and today I am showing off a record lock. It will only give an output if you put in the correct record like this one. And it is only 4 to 5 blocks wide based on where you take the output, 6 to 7 blocks deep based on where you have the input, and only 3 blocks tall. In my opinion, very compact. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys how to build it right quick and I'll even build it in... Ooh, that button in survival with you guys to show how easy it is to build. Now for this build you're going to need 11 to 17 building blocks, a jukebox, a container, in this I'm going to use a 3x3 container such as a dropper or a dispenser, 5 redstone, 4 redstone torches, 2 redstone comparators, and 1 redstone repeater. Alright, let's get building this. You want to take all your stuff. Alright, if you're going to build it like that, it's only going to be six. If you want to put it inside a wall though and make sure you get the block back, you want to place your jukebox in a too high wall behind it. And you want to place your comparator behind the middle block. After you place the comparator, right click it once to put it in subtract mode and then take your other comparator, place it facing into that. You want to take your container. In this example, I'm going to use a 3x3, three three, a dropper, and I'm going to make it so only Ward can activate it. So I'm going to use 10 stacks of 42, or 5 stacks of 64, and 1 stack of 16. Alright, then you want to take your building material, you want to place two blocks down and place two redstone dust on top of that. You want to place a block above the repeater, then you want to do the same on the opposite side. You want to place a torch on the back of that, and a torch on top of this one. Then you want to take, uh, go around the sides and connect the two, ooh, not where I wanted that. You want to connect those two. You want to place three dust down, but before you actually connect it all, you want to place two of those right there. And you want to place a block on top of this torch and a torch right here. Now all you have left is a repeater to place and your output. Repeater, you just place it right here. It can be in this spot or in this spot, it doesn't matter which. Preferably in the back one so you have more uh, areas to take it out from. If you want to take it out from the side, it's going to make it five blocks wide. If you want to take it out from the back, it's going to make it four blocks wide. Now, as you can see, we place our record in. We have an output. The reason for the repeater on top is if you uh, place a higher value disk, such as weight, which is the highest, if you don't have that repeater there, it may pulse uh, really quickly and accidentally activate your redstone when you did not want it to. All right, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of knowledge to go with all this. Let me just quickly run over here. Why did I place it all the way over here? All right, this isn't exact, but it's close for in a three by three container. Every 42 blocks, your redstone signal is going to get stronger. As you can see, I have 42 in here. I take one out, and it only gives one. Put one back in. Two. All right. Now for your disks, the amount of uh, filler blocks you want to have in for 13, you actually it won't be able to work if you do use filler blocks. So you want to take it out, and you'll get your one output. Put that back in right quick. For cat, you can use between 1 and 41. As you can see here, I have 1. It gives an output of 1. Blocks, you want to use 1 stack of 42. It gives output of 1. Chirp, 2 stacks of 42. Far, 3 stacks of 42. Mall, 4 stacks of 42. Malahai, 5 stacks of 42. Stall, uh, 6 stacks of 42. <laughs> Strad, 7 stacks. Ward, 8 stacks. 11, 9 stacks, weight, 10 stacks. Alright, uh, four types of uses you could have for it. You could do kind of like a Doom style and have keys placed everywhere and have only a specific key activated. As you can see, the blue key or weight did not. But if I throw in Ward again, it will activate it. And we can access our workbench. Yay! Alright guys, this has been Short Stuff, and if you like the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you want to give a tip for future episodes, a tip for the design, or if you just want to talk, you can leave a comment in the comment section below.